Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my nursing channel. My name is Nurse Master Charlie, and on my channel I talk about all things nursing, education, health, and even dabble with a little bit of nursing education music. Today I'm going to do a little video, a quick video on blood pressure cuffs or blood pressure devices. I'm going to talk about three different types of devices that are used to measure blood pressure. I'm currently doing a series about vital signs and I just finished my last video was on blood pressure so I thought it would be kind of a good idea to talk about a blood pressure cuff, not that you don't know what it is. So a blood pressure cuff is actually called a sphygmomanometer, and it's basically a two-part word, sphygmos, which means heartbeat or pulse, and the manometer, which is a device for measuring pressure. So you put the two together, it's a device for measuring the pressure of a heartbeat or a pulse, the word for blood pressure. So let's get right into the video. What is a blood pressure cuff? This is a blood pressure cuff. Ooh. And a blood pressure cuff consists of a couple of parts. Inside, which you cannot see inside the blood pressure cuff, is basically there is a bladder inside. Huh? Okay? Now the bladder is basically what fills with air. Just like as a urinary bladder fills with urine, a blood pressure cuff's bladder is going to fill with air. Now the bladder is enclosed in this material. And this material is actually marked with an index. Whoa. And the index is there to show us that we're using the right arm, whether it's the left arm or the right arm, so that we get the brachial artery in the right position. Now, some blood pressure cuffs actually have markings on them, such as these here, to help with the measurement on the arm. And blood pressure cuffs in different sizes. We have smalls, mediums, and larges. On this blood pressure cuff, there's actually a gauge holder where we would put the gauge to hold them through here. It's like a little belt loop. And this is the gauge that we will use to measure our blood pressure. And the gauge will slide right into the cuff holder. And basically makes it easier for us to take a blood pressure to free up our hands. Now the gauge is measured in increments of millimeters of mercury. There are the 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 markings, the large numbers. There are lines in between, which are gonna give us the 10 increments and then there are little lines which are two millimeters of mercury so it goes from two to ten to twenties and on and on and that's how we measure our blood pressure so as you notice here the tubing is connected to the bladder which is going to help measure the pressure and the other tubing that's connected to a bulb the bulb is what we're going to use to squeeze to put air into the bladder of the cup on the bulb here, we have a little valve. And the valve is what allows us to have it locked so we can force air into the bladder and then to slowly release the air from the bladder. On this cuff, we have some Velcro. The Velcro is what actually allows us to wrap it around the arm. So we'd put our arm through there and then release it. So here I have a blood pressure cuff attached to my arm to release it, a quick open and the blood pressure cuff is removed. So there are basically three types of blood pressure measuring devices. There is, the most common is the aneroid, which basically aneroid means without water or without liquid. And then there is the mercury, which is where we get our millimeters of mercury from, and that is a form of a liquid. Now there are two types of digital devices, one that goes on the wrist, and one that actually goes on the arm like we're used to seeing more traditionally. Now the digital devices that the patients can use at home are small and portable and sometimes kind of inexpensive and it allows patients to monitor their blood pressure at home and keep tabs on it, keep a record of it so they can share the information with their doctor and to see if their blood pressure medication therapy is working or is as effective as they're hoping it is. They all have one job in common and that is to measure blood pressure. So to do a quick review, here is the bladder of the blood pressure cuff, which is inside the material. You can't really see that. That is what fills with air. The index markings on the material to show you the left and right arm so you get the brachial artery correct. The gauge holder, which holds the gauge or the manometer. The tubing that connects all of this. The inflation bulb, which pushes the air. Then the air release valve, which releases the air. So if you want more information about blood pressure, 
I have two other videos. One is about vital signs and it talks about blood pressure and pulse and temperature and respirations. And the second one is actually called how to take a manual blood pressure and it talks about all things blood pressure. So I'll put a link in the card here and I'll put a link at the end of this video so you can go learn about blood pressure. So if you found value in this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up or a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want more information about nursing, nursing related topics, and then click on the notification bell so you can be made aware of when I release more videos. More videos are coming about the vital signs. This is just a little impromptu video that's right in the middle of my series. So stay tuned for more videos.